uh, you know, uh, it's hard to answer that without because it's hard to kind of uh, say how. I I just say, I'll just say that I always wanted to, and then it's a, for anybody who's not from the you know doesn't have any connections or contacts in the business or family and stuff. Um, it's always a, a lot of different steps over many years, like just persistence and um so how i got into it is not probably an interesting story as that i always wanted to but i, I studied economics first because you know i needed to just like you guys have a job or have a secure uh secure uh kind of, kind of secure an income so that i could actually get into movies uh because that's important for for you know some of us um so i started economics and i worked in consulting for about about two and a half three years and during that time i was always applying to film schools here in the states um and i applied uh, the second time i applied i got in and uh, so you know over those three years i had saved enough money so that i could see myself through uh, through the film school um, and then I spent about uh, almost two years in film school. It's like a three to four year course, three years of coursework and one year of, you know, making a graduate movie. But then I got in, uh, selected for the Sundance Lab and then I dropped out of film school. But then after that, uh, that gave me impetus to drop out of film school because I just felt like I needed to be out there and making, making things. Uh, but after that, it took me four, almost about, I think, four to five years to get my first movie made. Um, so, yeah, it's a, it's a pretty, uh, you know, it's a winding path, but it's really worth it, is, is, is what I would say. This, that's a short was, version of the story. But it was really nice. You know, I still have a lot of friends uh, mm. out there. Um, and I met even professors, like I met a lot of interesting people over there. And, and you know, honestly, I don't remember anything I learned, but I do remember all the friendships and people that I met. Mm. Um, and I think that's the, that's the thing with school is that uh, you don't remember anything you learned. <laughs> <laughs> but you remember all the people and all the, you know, you remember all the friendships you made. That's always the case, for better or for worse. Well, you know, uh, the thing with Sundance is that it's an amazing institution and uh, it's very focused on its uh, mission and its values. Yeah. And it comes from a real place of honesty yeah. and it comes from a place of discovering new talent. Yeah. And, and, you know, talking about that, I think probably the more interesting discussion to have is that we should have these kinds of institutions in our own country, uh, you know, that are focused on discovering new talent. Always always remember the, the first impulse, the first impulse of telling a story. And that applies to everything, you know, the first thing for me is to, is to build an institution like that in India. Yeah. And that's something that I would like to do one day, to emulate, emulate what they've done and, and to even try to make something that is, you know, if it's even 10% of that, I think it'll, it'll, it'll go a long way, long way in doing something good in India. It's a real blessing to work with him because he's a wonderful person and he's he's just a regular he's a regular guy you know which is yeah. which is very rare which is very rare to see in such a big movie star um but yeah i had good fortune of meeting people like that but he's a really special person yeah really special sort of stands above all the all the stuff that is not important he just focuses on what's important You know, I honestly, I did not ever make the documentary. I'm not a documentary filmmaker. Uh, but at the time, I was trying to get another script made, which, which wasn't getting made. And then I thought that making a documentary would probably be something that I could manage to do on my own. Uh, and until you do something, you don't realize how difficult it is or how easy it is. Uh, but, you know, I started researching it. And when I was just starting to research it, uh, sort of the idea came to me 
of of the of the movie and then i started writing it uh and but i also continued the research uh so it was just like a nice gift you know and uh, it's it's always one thing leads to another and you don't realize it when it's happening yeah but i'll just give it a shot and and but then i spent a lot of years writing it yeah uh, and and polishing it so uh, it led to something good No, you know, I don't think I don't think that you won't be able to write that. I think you probably write something better. But uh, how did you think about something is a very interesting question because it's like uh, it's more a question of who you are. Uh, I guess you know. I think the best way to answer the question is that you. I mean, I I think there's so many things that you file away that you don't realize. and then hopefully if you're trying to do something honest or something that honest is not the right way to put it as because it's too lofty a word but something that is very you and represents you and is connected with you deeply those things will come out themselves um you know and i, I don't know i don't know how i thought of things or i i don't really spend too much time thinking about myself but uh, but your question is a good one because i think the question is really about um like there are, there are times when you will write or work on something that is not that is not in your bones it doesn't represent you and it's not about where it's set or or what it's about it's about something deeper than that you know so like it moves us so much about nostalgia and i i, I used to feel a lot of nostalgia in those days for you know for a simpler time because i got to see that simpler time when i was a kid and then it then you know when uh, see so you guys probably you know are much younger than me so uh at least i'm, I'm guessing by 15 years or something uh so or maybe 20 i don't know uh, but uh there was a time in the early 90s in india uh, late 80s early 90s when i was a kid when well it was not It, it, everything felt very complete because it was all we had you know uh two three different choices of shoes or pens and you know the world was very limited but it was very complete also um and and it felt it felt uh, you know it is wasn't good for everybody but uh, if you were middle class or sort of you know in india at that time my dad worked in the government it felt everything felt kind of complete and uh, but but you know i think everybody has this nostalgia it's like a golden age fallacy that the past time was better and that's not really true um because all we obviously always the the goal is for the future to be better or the present to yeah. be better yeah. uh but i think these characters that also have so much like the the process of life you know is also a process of loss and gain as well but these characters had lost so much um both of them and and they and they had never spoken about it to another person yeah so all those things that you're talking about the anecdotes and stuff they come out when you yeah. talk to somebody who understands yeah 